I really like both of those approaches, but huge shout out to Lotus. I think that was a really clever way to get that geometry in place. And now we see Metab on the backside of the model coming through here and creating that triangular shape and uh, adding in some of those. Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to another CAD vs CAD tournament highlight. One of the more common questions we get is how did these guys get so fast? And I can say that many of the competitors that we see in this tournament are regular members on our website, twotalltoby.com. On this website, you can sign up for our practice models app where you'll find over 200 2D to 3D practice models, very similar to what we see here in the tournament. So if you wanna get fast enough to enter the next CAD vs CAD tournament, be sure to sign up over at twotalltoby.com. Get started on your practice models journey. And of course, be sure to like this video. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought about the battle and what you thought about this model. Well guys, that's gonna take us back to our Wheel of Fate. And I think that was the only tier three model that we had on the wheel. So you guys can definitely guess uh, what you think this next challenge is gonna be. John G in the chat says, it's great to see how they set up the model. Yeah, I completely agree. John, that's what I really love. I love seeing kind of how they get in, how they approach it, how they set up for these models. It's so fun to see. Let's see what it's gonna end up being here, guys. Let's give this thing a rip. Here we go. What does the Wheel of Fate have in store for our runners? Of course, I wanna give a huge shout out to Solid Box sponsoring the Wheel of Fate today. We very much appreciate their support. And guys, looks like it's going to be number seven. Lucky number seven. Let's go. So we got a fantastic challenge for these runners. I think this one is going to be really interesting. It's going to be really cool to see how they approach this model. And I'm hearing from the production team. It sounds like they are ready. And so that means that we are ready. Guys, this is so cool. We get to see our second matchup here between Matab, our number one seed, using SolidWorks from Bangladesh, and Lotos from Ukraine, our number eight seed, using Compass 3D. Here we go. This next CAD vs. CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? This part is called shaft support. And we can see here that the material is 1060 aluminum. And this is a tier four challenge. So our runners are starting out. They're picking their templates. They're making sure they've got the correct materials. And our runners are going to get into it here. We've got Lotos on the left using Compass 3D. Looks like he's going to be starting out on the top plane, kind of sketching a rectangle down. We see Matab on the right using SolidWorks, decided to start with that kind of L shape looking in on this bracket. So if you imagine taking a cross section of this bracket, it looks like Matab decided to take that cross section and use that as his starting sketch. This part is called shaft support. We have seen a similar part to this in the tournaments in the past, however, the models always change a little bit before they get recycled through. We never give you exactly the same model. We want we want to keep our users on their toes. Sometimes we change the unit system. Sometimes we change the material, add a feature, shift a feature over a little bit. Uh, this is a tricky model, a model you might see in the machining world. Look at Lotos on the left. I, was, I spoke incorrectly before. He has also decided to create that L shape. And now both of our runners creating that triangular shape at the same time. Look how quickly Lotus was able to get that triangle in there. That was awesome. But it's Matab here who looks like he was able to turn that into a 3D solid faster. Wow, wow, wow. Sebastian in the chat says, you Americans should stick to the metric system. We do have both metric and inches in this tournament. We have both systems here in this tournament. So good point, but we do like to make sure that users understand how to do both. Guys, look at these runners. They're both at the same location at the same time. Matab, even with his super speed, is opting to use uh, an Ivan exploit there. Uh, I think that with how fast he is, he could probably handle modeling those, those features and putting them in the correct location. But I know that he's trying to take down his very first tournament win. So much love to the Ivan exploit. And Matab coming in here and extruding that next feature, that circular boss looks like he's going to do this in two directions, a little bit out in the one direction, and then he's going to extrude it out the other direction. Stevenson Inc. says, CAD is awesome. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Great to see you in here in the chat, my friend. 
And we see Lotos opting to do that first extrusion to kind of get him that offset, and then he's going to use that face to do the second extrusion in the opposite direction. I actually really like this approach as well. Um, it lets you kind of stick to the customer's design intent if the customer's giving you the overall length of that tube. So I really like both of those approaches, but huge shout out to Lotus. I think that was a really clever way to get that geometry in place. And now we see Metab on the backside of the model coming through here and creating that triangular shape and uh, adding in some of those fillets that we saw on the drawing. You can't really see them in this isometric view, but you can see them on the drawing. So adding in that larger fillet on that underside shape, going in and adding that smaller fillet running down. And wow, Metab was able to get that fillet in place quickly. Just a few clicks. This is what it looks like when someone has really refined their workflows and guys, I got a feeling Matab is looking at the final spin and we may be seeing an answer coming in here. Let's keep an eye on the chat. And it looks like Matab is coming in with an answer. And that answer is two, one, three, nine grams. And that is correct. And we're going to see Matab moving on to the final four. Our number one seed going up against our number eight seed a tier three model and a tier four model. And wow, 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 that was impressive. And uh, congratulations and a huge GG to both Matab and to Lotos. Thank you both so much for being a part of this tournament. It was so cool to get to know a little bit about both of you and uh, really fun to watch those battles. Wow, 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 it was awesome. Really cool to see all the speed modeling from both of these runners and really neat to be able to see how two different CAD wizards kind of approach that same challenge at the same time. So guys, let's put a GG in the chat for Matab. Moving on to the final four, let's put a GG in the chat for Lotos.